Hmm, that's weird. Okay, maybe I'm really alive this time. I don't know. Let's see. Hi. Hi, Gail. Hi, Clint. Hi, Barbara. I don't know. I didn't know if this thing is really working because... It didn't ask me those questions it usually asks me. Huh, this is amazingly weird. I have no plans for tonight. I almost didn't come on because I was busy in there watching TV. I My son sent me a... You did not see those teeth right there. You did not see them. <laughs> I, you know, I, I was live two minutes ago because, um, hi, Sandra Louise. Be, well, you see, a few minutes ago, I, it was just like spinning a little circle, spinning a little circle. And so, but I have been busy, 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 busy. I'm telling you, and, um. But now, right now, I'm not really busy, but I don't have no plans for doing anything. So what I'm going to do here is just nothing, a whole bunch of nothing. My my son, he sent me a link. He says, you got to watch these guys, mom. They're so funny. And so, of course, you know, if he sends me a link, I got, hi, Lorraine, Chubb and Trucker, Jania, and Sonia. I said, Jania? Your name's not Jania. Look at this. This I this I cut these off of a front of a um macaroni box. But look how fun. It's got a window in it. This one come from some macaroni. This off to sun made raisins. Yeah, I'm gonna use them for something. I don't know what. And um I might cut out some more of my roses tonight. Um this is what I've been a doing. This this right here, what you can see right here. I have made a lot of these here masks. Now, some of you, some of you are going to be finding these just in happy mail because I thought I'm going to, and they're not perfect. In fact, look at this one's crooked. One side's way wider than the other. Now, I almost throwed them all in the garbage. I almost did. Because I was reading some of the um some of the some things on the internet and doggone it. Hi Ilona. Some oh you have to Sandra Louise has to be quiet. Poor thing. Yes. And um so I had all these made and almost some more because I started reading some some of the things about handmade face masks and and some people say that they are just no better than wearing nothing so i almost threw them away and then i said no i'm going to send when i send one of these off i'm going to type up like a little disclaimer hi mandy and um these because there's two layers of fabric of um a fine woven fabric you know the the wool the weave is a close weave that means there's about 65 percent of protection like if um there's so 65 away from 100 is 45 whatever whatever it is and um this is going to be better than nothing even the 
surgical masks, those, I don't know, N97s or whatever they're calling them, those are 95%. There is still a 5% that those ones will, will leak. But now these ones here that I've made, they're going to fit right in a, um, an envelope. So I'm going to be sending happy mails out, which are going to be nothing but a mask. And um, nothing but a mask, but I'm going to put a little a piece of paper in there that lets you know. these. One of the good things about wearing a mask, if you're going... Yes, the interfacing gale is good because the interfacing is non-woven. And so if you put an interfacing, but I don't have any interfacing. But because um, this is woven, interfacing is not woven. And so the interfacing does make it better. So um, these do not have interfacing in them. But now, if you're going off to the Walmart or something and you wear a mask as you go, it not only filters a bit, it also reminds you, it also reminds you not to touch your face if this is there. Um, if this is there, it reminds you to touch your face. Yes, also that, and then there. Um, there's the, there's the, um, another thing that is less expensive than the interfacing and what, no, I can't remember what it's called, but those reusable, there's some kind of reusable like grocery bags that you can buy. They're made out of something. Now I can't remember what they're called. Now they say that, um, using that will make them better too so and then i had i used up my elastic so i ordered more elastic but that's not going to get here until um april 15th i think they said and so yes and these you can breathe through them but now you never want to wear them for a long period of time you never want to because moisture will build up inside and then that's not good either. So these are good. Like if you're going to go, um, no reusable bags are allowed in the stores. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. See, that's, I hadn't heard that. Hi, Nora. Yes, I'm doing very, very good. Thank you. Temporarily coffee filters in between. Leave opening to change out filter. Yes, some of them are doing that way with the coffee filters. And you can even, as you put this on, even though you can't get inside the two layers, you can, with two little safety pins, you can pin a coffee filter to the inside of this they say do not some people are saying you can use a um dryer sheet but then they say no do not use a dryer sheet because they would think that they have not been sterilized well that's kind of weird barbara because i the people going in the store are not sterilized <laughs> So that, you know, I don't know. People are going to come up uh, with different things. I know I had, a, I had mail delivered yesterday that I had to sign for. And, um, yeah, don't use dryer sheets uh, that I had to sign for. But I could not sign it. She, I had to, she, the mail lady actually had to sign it with me there. And but she couldn't hand me the little thing to sign it. And so, yeah. So anyhow, this is what I've made so far. And I've got a whole bunch more cut out. That's got little hearts on them. But um, I'm going to see about getting, getting the fabric to use at, to use as the liner before I um, 
before I sew the other ones together. And so, so that they'll be a little bit better. They won't be a whole lot better. Okay, Barbara, even ministers are saying not to only do that. Okay, yes, come up with all different kinds of reasons and stuff we all get to do is have faith in God to protect us. Okay, but you know, you have faith in God, but a lot of people, um, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but there are people that think, okay, I prayed about it and it's going to be okay. Well, <coughs> actually, when you pray about something, what happens is then God will direct you on the right path. It's not like he can just all of a sudden heal the whole world. It's not possible. But he will direct you on your path, on your correct path, so things will be better. So you use your faith. I mean, you have faith, but then um, God works through other people too. So if God says, if other people say, Stay in your house where you're going to be safe. Hi, Llama. And our our county is not hit really, really bad, at least. But there's been four, well, that I have heard of anyway. Four so far that I have heard of cases in our county. Now, I haven't heard... I haven't listened for a couple of days, so I don't know if there's any more. Hi, Irma's Redneck Craft Shack. Hi, how are you? You know what I was thinking? Irma, today Skeeter sent me a link to listen to this. these guys. They're called the Moron Brothers, and they sing and tell jokes, and they're hysterical, and they don't cuss or nothing. And, um, and I thought of you with the, your redneck birdie. I'll send you the link. It's the Mormon, no, not Mormon, Moron Brothers. They're so funny. Gail, it's going to, Gail says it's going to get much worse before it gets better. And that's what I think too. It is going to. And so, you know, we think the worst and hope for the best. You know, that's all you can do. Lee says there's two area, two in her area. Hi, Sandra. And so all we can do is try to follow the guidelines. And I know there's a lot of people that say, oh, my gosh, it's no big deal, no big deal. But it is a big deal. It is a very big deal. And people have to, people have to really watch out. People have to really watch out um, and, and follow these guidelines that are being put out. Even if you think that it's all a bunch of silliness, you know, you still follow those guidelines. And so... We just got to hope it all works, you know, hope it all works and pray, keep praying that it, you know, it gets better. So I've been doing a few things. I've been cutting out some of these dyes that I want to use in my, um, well, some of them are going in my boxes. In my box, well, most of them is going in my cigar boxes. I've got some more to send out. Everybody likes these, the um, umbrella man, so I'm putting two umbrella men. Umbrella man, just go like that. Okay, be nice, umbrella man. Okay, put them umbrella man's dudes, umbrella man dudes in there. Okay, I got them all. See, I, I get them all tangled up. I was talking to Clint. Hi, Clint. Hi, Millie Hammer. And um, I was talking to Clint. And while I was talking to Clint, he was keeping me company while um, I was die cutting. And so I got a lot of things die cut. Oh, I got typewriters, too. Typewriters. Typewriters. So, um, so I have some of these to put in into my little packages. And so my packages are growing. So those of you that are already got a package, if you order another one, <laughs> you get more stuff. 
Um, so what did I put you guys? Yeah. And but uh oh goodness sake. So so I got my little thingies here. Oh, I gotta take my thing off of my thingy off of my wish list because I got a whole bunch of these. Bags I had put on my wish list, but now I got a whole bunch, so I don't need them on my wish list anymore. So, um, but anyhow, I'm telling you, I I just ate dinner, so I'm stuffed. Can't hardly think when I'm stuffed. It's locked down in the UK. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. How do I make what? These little guys? The, these, these things are all die cuts that I do with my die cutting machine. I work for D Diane Reevely and no work and son, no work at the moment. So many people out of work. My daughter got her hours cut today. My granddaughter doesn't have a job at all because they closed the place where she works. So it's going to be rough. To me, it's like it's going to be another depression. I don't know. That's kind of sad or scary or something. It's kind of, I don't know. The world is, what am I doing? I can't even think of what I'm doing right now. I had three things in there. Globe. Oh, the fan. I didn't give you a fan. I didn't give you two. I got to give you two of these umbrella mans. Because you're famous. You're a famous umbrella man. Yeah, it is sad, but it's for the best. We have to get this under control. I have not left my house. I have to go on the 30th for blood work. Oh, Clint says, tell us about our project tomorrow clint and i i have been talking i talked to clint and his sister on the telephone and he they kept me occupied while i was cutting these and so clint wants to learn how to make boho beads so i said okay tomorrow friday i said friday we'll, we got have a date i have a date with clint and aaron his sister and I'm going to have all my stuff here for making boho beads. And he's going to have his stuff to make boho beads. And um, we're going to make, I'm going to show him how I do mine so that he will kind of learn how to do it because he's never done one and he wants to. And so, so that's what we're going to do. So we have like a Friday night date. Me and Clint. It's going to be fun, Clint. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. That's tomorrow night. And um, and so, see there, you can have outings with your friends via the internet. And um, via the internet, and you can meet up with friends, and you can craft together. So this is the first time that I am actually going to craft with somebody online this is the first time i've not ever done it before but i've wanted to so yep that's what clint was talking about so that's going to be fun because he also has a way he can just set his camera up and i can watch what he's doing and we can talk to each other while we're doing that oh and mandy said both her children are on reduced hours from the local, local university there. And here, my granddaughter goes, um, my, she goes and they completely do not have any school. Everything is done online. All of their schoolwork is done online. They completely closed their, um, They've completely closed their school, the, the college. And so she feels like she's not going to do as good with it. Um, 
with doing online. She likes the in-class stuff. You love my bracelet? That was sent to me by um, Tracy Turner. I love it. These are all stones in here. I love that. Oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Oh, I can't get that high. <clears throat> oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixie land. You know what? I can't sing that song. Let's see if I can sing. Oh, grandfather, this is my favorite. Grandfather's clock. Now, my grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was but on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure in pride. But it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. Ninety years with the slumbering tick-tock, tick-tock, it's life seconds numbering tick-tock. Tick-tock, it stopped short, and never to go again when the old man died. Do you know the first time I ever heard that song, and I think I memorized it at the time, was when I heard my grandfather Lockwood. Um, I was very young. He was pushing us on the swing set, my, me and my brother. I think that's all that was, that's all that had come along by then was just my brother and I. And um, he was, and we were in New Jersey, Jersey City, New Jersey. We were visiting my grandfather and my grandmother. And my grandfather took us to the park there in Jersey City. And he would sing that song while he pushed us on the swing. And I, my brother and I, I don't know, we were like five and six, maybe if even that old. But it seems like I loved that song then. And now every time I hear it, I think about my grandfather Lockwood. And I wish I could have known him better. Let's see there. And then I need a fan. And so... But he didn't leave, live close, and then he passed away at a young age. So, yeah, as you can see, I have nothing planned to do tonight at all. And Lise cannot carry a tune in a wheelbarrow. Sure you can. Come on. You know what? Even, like, um, when I was talking to Clint the other night and his sister, we were singing a song together. We sang a song together. And I thought that was so awesome. My hubster come in here goes, who in the world are you talking to? And he sat there for a while and watched him. And um, he thought Clint was awesome too. So, but anyhow, and he is quite the crafter. Well, I, I shouldn't just pile these up because they get all tangled. They get tangled and tangled and shningled. And some of these, when you people get them, they're going to be not completely seated. So then you got to do it yourself. So do it yourself. Like on this, I think my die is getting a little old on this typewriter. So it doesn't want to punch out all them little keys. You could maybe get them out. I don't know. But they're okay. So, you know what I must do? Now, how do you write, how would one write a, um, well, what was that word that I said a while ago? And I forgot my word. Just a minute. I get a piece of paper. I get a piece of paper to write on. I need to write a, huh, I just said the word and now I can't think of it, that I want to send with my, um, 
with my oh here i can write in this oh no that's my bill thing i don't want to touch that that gives me breaks out my hives where for my book I swear, one of these days I'm going to get so, 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 so organized. Gonna, uh, one day I'm going to get organized. Oh, well, but anyway, look at this little box. I ordered. I never knew about these things. I never knew about these little. I have a couple. I have a couple of these little clips. I had a couple, a few of these that are just gotten happy mail and stuff i did not know what they were for then i was watching somebody sewing and these are actually sewing clips for fabrics and stuff and i said i have got to have some of those and so um and they are amazing and they just come in the mail today but look at the little can they come in a little bucket it's got the little bunnies on it and stuff i love them so i'm excited about having them i'm going to use them on my um my next batch of masks are going to come better because I'll be able to clip my pleats with these. Oh, here's my notebook. Okay. Now, what do you, okay, what am I thinking about? All right. Now, I'm thinking. I have to write my, um, I have to. <laughs> I wouldn't run for the heels. Jeez, I'm crazy. No, 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 no. See how I work? I do I do something a little bit and then I have to do something else. Um disclaimer. I need a disclaimer. On my um handmade face mask. Now, what are the kinds of things I have to write on here so I don't get, like, sued? Yeah, Susan Ernst, I never knew about these kind of clips. Um, I never knew about these. And then I, oh, there's my magnet. I was wondering where my magnet went for my Misty. And there it is. I'll put it underneath it. And, um. I seen somebody else using them and I says, well, son of a gun. I never um I never heard of them. I mean I've seen them, but I didn't know what they were. Now I do know what they are. Okay, so if I'm writing a disclaimer for handmade face mask. Okay. These masks. Okay, I gotta say I am not. I am not a professional that I, <laughs> you know what they need to make an ink pen with a spell check on it. Hi, Darla. Um, a spell check on an ink pen. They, that's got to be invented. Okay, I'm not a professional. professional i'm not a professional in this area um yeah we need a spell check pen i'm telling you i you know how many times i use spell check on the computer oh my gosh because you know i'll be typing something away and then underneath there'll be all these red lines underneath all these words then all I have to do is click on the word and it'll give me the right spelling. Um, um, I'm not selling them, I know, but I don't want people to think that they can put this mask on and then think they are completely invincible to the germs. See, that's what I want them to know, that they're not, this is only like, see, it's going to be a reminder. I'm just going to write a couple of these things down. Not to touch your face. When out and about.
so then, you know, and also do not wear for long periods of time. Do not wear for lot long periods of time. These are also good for these are also good for if you're out mowing the grass and that kind of thing. Very good because, oh, wash after each use. Very good. Um, okay, do not wear for a long period of time due to moisture. Build up. Okay. Remember not a reminder. Oh, that is where I wrote. Okay. Now, then, now, then. A list from a mom to their child. Yeah. Oh, no, Lisa, I'm not selling these. I sell other things, but I'm not selling these. These I'm, 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 I'm sending them. But I am putting in all of my future cigar boxes. There'll be one in there. Yes, yeah, so I got the clips on Amazon. They got all different, different ones. They've got many different choices for the clips. And they're not. I mean, they'll be good for. This I think is 150 clips, and they're good for many things, not just. Yeah, there are lots of things. Okay, wash after each use. Okay, now I gotta think for a little while. Let me find a did I show you my book? This here book. Um yes, a lot of hospitals are not taking um handmade, they're not taking them. But there is some that are taking them and they are given to like the visitors and things. So, but this, I got a happy meal from Vicky DuPros over in Australia. And what she did was just threw a whole bunch of stuff in the, in the envelope and then sent it to me to see what I could do with it. And so I started making this journal. And this is an envelope that I used for the cover. This ribbon was in the envelope, so I tied that. That's what I used to to um, to bind it. I used, um, and there was a lot of steampunk in there. I'm not finished with it. I still have more to go. This was cut off of a pattern front. I put that in there. A unicorn. And part of the pattern package here, I made a pocket. Beautiful things. and. Just fun things, and that tag was in there, and this map. So I love maps, and so I just put these. Oh, these here I cut those out of my Rose magazine, and so and then I cut that out. But beautiful images of things, and I'm just putting them together, just making. I don't know. It's just a junk journal. It's just a glue book or something it's just and i'm having fun putting this thing together oh there's one of my little umbrella mans i just love him i just love him oh some oh Sandra Louise has her dad in the hospital and based not to visit him. He fell and fractured his, his spine. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Fell and fractured. And then you can't even to go to the hospital. Then I got this pocket in the back. I can put more, put stuff in there. Oh, man, that's horrible, horrible, terrible. And let me, oh, I got to go get one more thing. That I gotta show you. This is like a show and tell, maybe. My dog, why are you laying that pathway about six inches to walk and then you're laying right in the middle of it? And then you don't even see how you are. 
Um, there you are, doll. Okay, just a minute. I'm going to show you my pattern. My pat. My pattern. Okay, I made a little video already starting this, getting it started. But then I took it off into the sewing room and I did a little bit more. This here is one of the things. This is a journal wrap. It's a um, snippet roll journal wrap. And so these also, one will come with every one of my boxes, every one of my um, cigar boxes will have a journal wrap. That's a new thing I'm putting, and they keep coming up. This was a pattern. This is the pattern cover, and I um used the the pattern envelope is what I made for the cover. So I glued it and then stitched it onto a piece of high violet. There's violet. Um. Onto this is a piece of um, a file folder. So I just glued it and then stitched around. I put lace around the edge. That's the cover. Then I I don't have the signature sewed in yet because I'm doing sewing on the signature pages. So I want to be able to sew them on there. But like here, this page. This was an old, really old rickrack. And that was the um, paper on it, which it's all scrabbly and stuff. But I um, stitched it on there. That's stitched on there. This is a flower that was given to me in Happy Mail, which is beautiful. I sewed that on there. And, and this was the one part of the... Um, of the envelope that I just stitched on there. So that'll be like a little pocket on those two pages. And then I made that pocket out of fabric. And each of the pattern direction papers has a piece of lace sewed on the edge. Let's see, do I have anything else? I sewed them on the edges. But all the pages are nothing but the pattern paper. But because the but um the pattern paper is more than one sheet and sewn together so that it makes a heavier page. So like I said, I got some different laces sewn, sewn on and there's going to be two signatures that might be all i have sewn sewn on oh this is another little piece of the pattern that was on the pattern front of another pattern that one came off of the pattern from australia package but i am having fun with oh and then this this was something I got in Happy Mail, which is so pretty. Somebody had made this, and it is so pretty with the lace around and the sheer covering over the dress form. And so this, I think, is going to be such an awesome little journal because it's made completely. I mean, it's a sewing journal, so it's completely made with a used pat well the pattern wasn't used it was an old pattern but it had never been used so this is one you would want to make out of a pattern that wasn't used so that you can cut the pieces apart just fine and then the way you put the wrap on is uh, like on this one you can go I, this one see i just put it up and down across the front and then put it like this way and then put it like this way around the back and then back around the front and tie it in the bow like you would do on a gift and tie it in the bow and the nice thing about this is no matter how big it gets because i'm finding this is going to get big then you tie it shut with that journal wrap with that um journal wrap thing just like that just like that just exactly like that 
Okay, let's see. What else is in here? Let's see. Let's see. Come away with me, Lucille, in my merry Oldsmobile. Down the road of life will fly, out of mo bubbling you and I. To the church will swiftly steal. Then our wedding bells will peal. You can go as far as you like with me in my merry old small bill. Yup, in my merry old mobile. Tell, tell me the tales that to me were so dear, long, long ago, long, long ago. Sing me the songs I delighted to hear, long, long ago, long ago. Now you have come, all my grief is removed. Let me forget that so long you have rode. Let me believe that you love as you love. Long, long ago, long ago. Look at there's Shirley Temple. This is an old book. This was sent to me too. I gotta start writing stuff when people send me send me things. Oh, who lives in Kentucky? Okay, here we go. The sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the darkies are gay. The corn tops ripe and the meadows in the bloom while the birds make music all the day. The young folks roll on the little cabin floor. All merry, all happy and bright. By and by, hard times come and knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home. Good night. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home. For my old Kentucky home far away. Let me see. When was this written? Because I just, just going along with the 1936 is when this was copyrighted. 1936. And now actually I was reading the words as I sang this song. And a lot, I believe the words were changed because like on this one line it says it is summer the darkies are gray and they that word darkies they do not we have that word in the book anymore that one is the people maybe are happy instead of because words change over the years and gay they don't use that as it is 
as it was used back then. If you were gay, you were happy. It was just happy, you know, happy and gay. And um, so those are words. So um, please don't be offended because I read the words as they were written in this book. Okay, let me see. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back, oh, bring back my bonnie to me to me oh bring back oh bring back oh bring back my bonnie to me there's some really good songs in here okay i'll give you a break and um you know what? This is how I do things all day long. I'm not kidding you. I ain't kidding you. I ain't kidding you. I do this all day long. I start one thing and then I go to another thing and then I do something different and then I do something else. And I do like, because I've got a very short attention span, very short. It's about as long as my little toe and my little toe is very short. Oh, let me see. I don't, maybe I used up both. Oh, I got it there. Oh, what do I got that for? The fan. Oh, that's right. I didn't cut a lot of fans because it took more paper. And that's getting cheap. So I'll stick another typewriter in there. So, but anyhow, I try to make little um, collections. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to go like this right now just to get these off of my table. I'm going to just go like this way. And I'm going to put all of the typewriters. You know, my little umbrella man. I'm in love with him. He's my dude. And I'll put all of these typewriters. Hi, Aaron Morrison. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. How's the trucking business? I almost forgot too, really, because um, because I forget everything, but I, I remembered. It's amazing. Sometimes I surprise myself when I when I um remember things all of a sudden. I think, oh my gosh. Okay, so anyhow. There we go. Now. Oh, the hubster emptied my trash can again. Wow, wow, that's amazing. All right, now. Okay, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I know what I will do. I'm going to work on some tags. This here is, I just got stuff in here that is going to work for tags. So there's little things and little things. What's this? Oh, that stuff. Okay. I try and put things. Oh, see, these were some things that were like those. What's this? Oh, these are cool. Maybe. Oh, that's an envelope that I got from Denise Smiley. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is going to make a good tag. And, gosh, I got the fan on in here, but it's still kind of, like, hot. It's still kind of hot. This is Florida, y'all. Yo, guys, this is Florida. It's kind of hot. So, see, now these were just papers that came in, came in, came. They came in a package. Hi, Mary Tao. Mary two, Mary two, Mary two, Mary T, Mary two. No, wait a minute here. Yeah. 
Oh, I've missed a few because there's 33 people. Hello, all 33 people of you. All three, 33 people. I'm just going to cut the tops off of these three tags. And I am going to decorate them and make tags. Oops, sorry, cut that one off, Elizabeth Marie. It is hard to remember what day it is anymore. You're right. You are right on that one, Miss Gail. It is hard to remember what day of the week it is. Okay. Now then. Now then. Now then. So... So we don't know what we'll do, but we're just going to work on some tags here. Might sing some more a little bit because I don't know what to do. I should sing more often. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I probably, what I, what I really like to sing, I like to sing the old hymns. That's what me and, Clint was singing the other night, old hymns. Did Clint leave? Clint might have left. He stays busy too. So, so then... Oh, Clint is still there. How's Aaron doing? His sister is so sweet. I'm telling you. And I own humble opinion. No, we talked till like one o'clock in the morning. My time. It was one o'clock in the morning. Cutting zippers. Oh, I was just about to sit down and eat and watch TV. And that's when I realized what day it was and what TV shows were going to be on. Uh -huh. Yeah, me and Papa, we were just sitting there watching. Well, we ate our supper. Broccoli and cheese soup. We like soup. We're soup eaters. Oh, that's right. Your sister has a birthday coming up. On the 30th, right? So Monday. Yep. I'm sure you and your mom have got plans for her birthday. Just don't play any tricks on her. She doesn't need any tricks. She told me about them tricks you play on her. Oh, this is this will be pretty on here, won't it? That'll be real pretty on there. I'm going to glue that on there first. I am going to glue that on right on there. Oh, Tuesday the 31st is her birthday. Oh, okay. I was close, you know. I should get some points for being close. So I am going to... glue this like here on this back bring back oh bring back oh bring back my body to me now Let me see. Let me see if that's going to work for me. That's pretty. That'll be a pretty time. Probably put it in the cigar box. I've got some. Um, I'm getting yours together. Let's see. I've got Sonia's. So I'm getting hers together. Lorraine, I'm getting hers together. 
Lise is getting the little one. I'm getting hers together. So I got four that I think should go out tomorrow, but probably not till Saturday. Maybe tomorrow, though. I swear I've been on that sewing machine. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. Then I can put this piece on this one. Yeah. Do I, do I want to put it this way? Yeah, put that one on this way so it'll be different. Make sure to refresh the online chat and to refresh the chat and the posting or all of the drawing. Yes. Oh, yes. What can the matter be? Oh, yes. What can the matter be? Let me see. This one didn't cut real good. But it's okay. It's going to work just fine, just fine, just fine. As the hair on a frog. That'll be pretty. You can make tags out of anything, you know. Just make tags. Oh, where was that one piece? Oh, look, I wonder if this little girl, she's so cute. Look at her, she fits right in there. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Okay, so what if, what if, No, let's see. It's got to have some more than this. I love that image of that little girl. I love her. Isn't she beautiful? I love this stuff that's like pretty. If you comment in Lizzie's videos, put she inspires me. How does that help my channel, La La Gamma Lori Way? I never heard about that. Yeah, I never I never heard about that. Yes, Gail, for National Women's Month. Oh, I never heard about that. Now, I like this. I'm not sure I am like the color so much to go with this and then go on. Wait a minute. What if it goes on here and on here? No, we're going to have to work on that later. That, that one's giving me a little trouble. I love that picture. Okay, let's see. Then I have this one too. This, one, this one's going to get put on here as well. So this one will be kind of the same. Well, not kind of the same. Kind of, sort of different, but the same. Now, see, when you are sitting around in your house doing nothing but being a couch potato, um, well, I'm sure none of you guys are couch potatoes because you are all crafty. So, but if you, if you just have a block and you think, oh, I don't know what to do. If you got a brain block, you know, I get brain blocks all the time, but. I do so much, so many different things that I just constantly, constantly um, am changing my mind. Or I'll do something for a few minutes and then all of a sudden I start doing something different. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, okay, so then we'll cut this like this, this like this. 
almost like this. Here we go. I like that right there. And then, see, then I have this little piece here still. I don't like it. Oh, that's okay. I can do this. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do this. I don't have to do anything perfect. I've never done anything perfect before, so why should I start now? Yep. So, but you don't maybe I want to put this one on here like this just to be different. Yeah, so a different alternate because I cut this out of double sided paper. This was cut out of a. I have these little things, you know, like little machines or whatever that I bought like eons ago, and then I don't never use them. And then they sit gathering dust. And then I have to dust them every once in a while, but once every six years, I dust them. And um, then I say, oh, I wonder what this is supposed to do. Okay, so there, I got those four just started. But see, I'll show you. I'll show you this awesome thing. You all probably have one too. Oh, where did I put it? No, oh, good night noise. Good night noise. Well, never mind. I'm not going to show you because I don't know where I put it. It's a thing, though. It's just a thing. It's all it is, is a thing. But my thing is, grew legs and walked away. Oh, well. Oh, well, never mind. It's missing. Um, so pretend, edit that part out. Edit that out. Do you know I got a new stamp? Where did I put my new stamp? Where did I put my new stamp? I got this new stamp. Got this new stamp. Well, it's lost. <laughs> oh, John, Jamie, Christmas. Where did it go? It's so special. I, there's no way I could lose it. But it's, it's, well, I'll be dog jiggered. Dog jiggered. You ever been dog jiggered? Hmm. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Look at this stamp. Do you see that? Stacy sent me that. My Stacy. There was a bunch of other stuff in the envelope she sent me to. I don't remember what it all was. But I remember this stamp. Look at this. My name. It's my name and it's a stamp. I'm so excited with this stamp. I need to make a necklace out of it and hang it around my neck so I don't lose it again. I love this thing. I love it. Okay, now that's my name. Uh, in case I forget that because I'm getting pretty forgetful. Now, let me see. What was I doing? Oh, I was working on these here. I was working on these here. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can play another song. Let me see. 35 people are still here. You haven't left yet. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flow be of sin and double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Yep. These are all the old songs. I just love old songs. Swing low, sweet cherry on, coming for to carry me home. Swing low. Sweet cherry 
high. Coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me, coming for to carry me home. You know, at this time also in the way of our world today, um, I was I was listening to this one person that I watch. He's he's like, well, he's like, I don't know how do I describe him, but he's he's really funny. He likes to joke around. He's really funny, and he makes jokes all the time. He likes to make people laugh. He's just awesome. Well, he made some jokes. He made a a Beavis and Butthead joke about toilet paper. And oh, he got so many, so much hate mail about that. This is a serious time. People say you should not make jokes. You shouldn't. Don't. Well, it is a serious time. You're right. He's right. He was there, right? It's a serious time. And, but, but you know what? Laughter is the best medicine and we know people are sick we know people are dying but please don't lose your sense of humor because don't lose your sense of humor because laughter is the best medicine laughter gets your endorphins going your gets your endorphins going and it um which that, it builds your endorphins and it builds your immune system. Hi, Teresa Smallwood. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm not doing anything tonight, really. I'm just playing. I just, when I, when I realized it was Thursday and it was eight o'clock, I said, oh, what am I going to do? And, you know, and maybe I should always plan ahead, but I don't. Because I just, I've been busy sewing. I've been making my, um, making my masks. And so I've been really busy sewing and sitting in my sewing room and chatting with Papa and sitting out on the front porch. And all those things are important. You know, you got to do that. And so, so then I just sat at my messy desk and turned on the camera. That's what I did. That's all I did. So, and so I haven't really done anything else. Just that's all. So now I'm just digging around, just dinking. I'm just dinking around. That's why you posted the B butt, just to make people laugh. <laughs> yeah, we got to make people laugh. People, you know, you got to laugh. I mean, you know, it's our illness, our this pandemic is not a laughing matter. It really is not. And we know that. But don't go around just being sad like this is the end of the world because it's not. It's not. We're gonna we're gonna make it through this. And we hopefully very few deaths, very few um sickness from it hopefully and we pray for that you know you pray you send out your good vibes you um think only the best thoughts and and we pray for each other i mean not just each other other i mean every each other in the whole country i mean the whole world at this time Put that all the way around. I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna put that all the way around. I was gonna cut that, but I'm not gonna. 
oh darn this these bottles i bought were not the best i bought these they were cheap darn it now look see what happened there i got all this glue just popped the whole top off okay so this okay edit this part out too this edit this part out all right get this extra glue back up into this bottle i don't know how come i can't get and i try and push that top on real tight because i bought the empty bottles and then put the glue in and um yeah that's what i did and and then you got to push it's real hard and and then but then it just it just pops out every once in a while just pops out on me just pops okay oh man he's sliding out of my chair i gotta have papa look at this and see if maybe it's missing a screw or something the whole thing is just poking forward and then i think it's just because i sit on the very edge of the chair all the time my baby wipes are drying out i'll give it a little squirt of water wipe the glue off of my bottle no, I'm not going to fall. Thank you, Nora. Need to work to buy stamps through Barbara. Hmm. Oh, it was 81 in Missouri today? Wow. It was plum warm here today. Plum warm. Felt really, really good. Although I did have my jacket on this morning. Okay, now my glue off of here. Okay, now what am I doing now? Oh man, stamp my name on all of them. Love my stamp. Oh, you know what? This is my dad's book. What you doing, Pop? Giving the dogs treats. Giving the dogs the treats. Mm -hmm. My dad's songs. These are so old. My dad's been gone since 86. But he used to sing a lot out by the campfire. With his little guitar or his banjo. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Where many friends and loved ones have gone on before. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know, I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. I have a loving mother just over in glory land. And I don't expect to stop until I shake her hand. She's waiting there for me. And that's one thing I know. I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what would I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Pablo, come on, sing a song with me. 
you know when the world when the when the world do you know when the roll when the roll is called up yonder? Yeah, probably. Wait a minute, let me find one that's yesterday. Okay, there might be one here. No, I know that. Okay. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. We got to start over. I can't see it. Okay. Now can you see it? Yep. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time will be no more. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saints on earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder i'll be there let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun let us talk of all his wondrous love and care then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done and the roll is called up yonder i'll be there when the roll, when the roll is, is called, called up yonder when the roll, when the roll is, is called up yonder when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder. I'll be there. That's me and Papa. Yeah, Papa's, head to the Papa's heading the north, he said. So, anyhow, good night, sweetie. Would you bring me a drink? Okay. This and then and this I love because these are all this is all my my dad my dad wrote these all down and he's put the chords with them and I can still hear him singing these. Okay, I gotta work on my tags. This is not your normal live stream. Yeah, Nashville, here we come. We like that. We get out on a por front porch, you know. We sang on the front porch, and um, and and you know, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, none of the neighbors have moved because of it. I mean, they're still out there. They they haven't left us or anything. So uh, sometimes I sit out there and play my auto harp. I should play you my auto harp one day, but not today. It won't be today. It won't be today. Now, where did I put my little thing of things? Where did you have that in my hand? Oh, here it is. I'm not of the brightest bulb on the tree. Not the brightest bulb on the tree today. So I'm just going to keep working on these little tags. Let me see. I got all these cute little things. These are nice. I need to throw some of these in the cigar boxes, too, because these are so pretty. So pretty. Oh, look at that butterfly. I do like that butterfly. I might have to live on one of them. And I like that rose. Okay, let's see. So, you know, if you have just a, like a shoebox like this, and you just throw things in it, you know, when you find something little, just throw it in the shoebox. And um, then, then... You know, when you just want to do something, just take your shoebox out and um, and do something on just just look and see what's in there. There's old Goofy. <laughs> He's so cute. What does this say? The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we 
I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. You think so? I don't know. Well, yeah, we should be happy as kings. I don't know how happy a king is, though. I don't think I'd want to be a king. Now, see, this. Is beautiful. This was an envelope sent to me by some special, uh, some special person. This is pretty. I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm just. No, no. Oh, those were all of those. Where I would, Oh, yeah, that's where I was making those tags with those things. Those doohickeys. Here's a pocketbook. Oh, thank you, my sweet love. I do love you so much. Okay. Okay, I'll be in there a little while. Mm. So... Anyway, I like that little pocketbook. That that's pretty. That's pretty. So I should have a good story for you. Let me think if I got any good stories. I haven't left my house in a long time, so I don't have no going out anywhere stories. Oh, look at that. What's his name? So what's his name? Well, Bert and Ernie. He's Bert. He is Bert. Memories. Oh, that will go with this one. Oh, yeah. That will go on this tag. That's real pretty because that says memories. And then this pretty little girl from, from days of yore gone by. I love old Bert, but he doesn't show up. So I have to have something... I've got to put something behind me. Okay. These here papers. Maybe this one. Let's see. Now that. Now see if I have a little piece of paper. Like this. Because I like old Bert there. Old Bert. He doesn't get a lot of attention anymore. There's so many things on for kids to watch, new cartoons and stuff that Sesame Street doesn't get watched as much as it used to. And Bert and Ernie, yeah, they've kind of seen better days. There, Bert. Now, see, you look good right there. You look real good right there. You look, you could win the prize of the prince. You could be the prince of Nottingham. Okay, not don't make me squeeze this so hard that my now my glue wants to be stuck. Where did my pin go? My pin go. If I squish it too hard, it's gonna pop off the top. And that will not be a good thing. And my pin got lost. My pin. Well, dang. Today is a day. Oh, there it comes. See, there we go. There we go. It just needed a little time. I think this is actually an iron-on patch. It's really very old because I've had this for a very long time. So that's why I think it's very old. Oh, they moved to HBO, so you can't see Sesame Street on the HBO. I used to love to watch. They actually, you know, they used to have, I don't know if they still do, but they used to have, like, really cool, you know, update, you know, good people on there. I mean, like, famous people would show up. Pay famous, famous, famous people would be on there. See, now Bert's glued on there. I don't know if that butterfly will get glued on there because I'm still looking at things. Oh, this is cute. 
so no. This is one of them thicker tags. What if I put that at the top? That's pretty. She's got a little girl on there too. It's a little girl. Just a little girl will do. And um, look at this card. I love this card. It's like all layered. The teapot, the teacup, the flowers, they're all different layers. That would make a really, really pretty flip out in a journal. I think I need to put that in a cigar box so somebody can do something good with it. That's what. I, that's how I'm filling these cigar boxes. I find something and, and then I think somebody can do something better than me with that. So I throw it in a cigar box. That's what I do. I just throw it in a cigar box. And then I sell this. I know I'm not going to have as many sales of cigar boxes. So I'm going to have time to get a lot of thing, a lot of them filled up because uh, people just aren't shopping right now, except for, you know, needful things. And I understand that. And so I don't expect to have many sales, but that gives me time to get boxes filled with good stuff you know and even though i think the stuff is getting better i'm not i'm not making the price any bigger the price will stay the same stay the same but it's fun to do and lately anyway i'm kind of busy with my busy with my um Ooh, that's a pretty one. With my, I like that butterfly instead. With my sewing, so. Although I'm still sewing the, like I'll sew, to, sew for a while on my masks and then I'll sew a little bit on my, on my um, snippet rolls and my journal wraps. You know, that kind of thing. Let me put that right there. And well, I didn't glue this on, but yeah, she's going to get glued on. She's going to get glued on there on that tag. And put her little grip you remember when they used to call see they used to call a little suitcase you know like that you would take on a train they called it a grip you ever remember that what time is it oh it's already 9 30 how did it get that late yeah you know what let me see oh slide myself back up in my chair and i'm going to get my envelope pouch. My envelope pouch. I have the envelope pouch. It, oh. Oliver, are you late? Oh, there it is. I see it, Oliver. I see it, Oliver. Okay. Now, let's see what I have in here for envelopes. I love this little bag. Got this little bag from Jamie. She sent it to me one time. Now, I'm going to see if – oh, I don't have any pre-decorated envelopes. Boy, I'm going to have to get to work on pre-decorating some envelopes. Oh, this one's pretty. It's naturally decorated. Now, I want to see if these masks fit. Oh, look, that'll fit fine in there, in the envelope. That'll fit fine in the envelope. And um, let's see. Okay. We'll take this piece of paper and then I'm going to put that, fold that in third. This was a beautiful image that I had. So I made some copies of it because it's so beautiful. 
And heck, I don't care if I go to jail for making copies. But I'm not selling. I think as long as you don't sell copies of stuff, then I don't think they can put you in the slammer. So we'll put that in there like this. And we'll put that in there because the door price is going to have this little. And I'll give you an umbrella, man. Now, remember, wear this mask when you go to Walmart so you don't scratch your face. And um, so you don't touch your face. It'll remind you. Also, they're saying be very careful at gas pumps. When you pump your gas, right away, wash them hands. Everybody's touching them gas pumps. Do hickeys. We don't, we don't want their germs. We don't want their DNA. Nobody's DNA. Okay, so... Now, okay, this is not, where did I, oh, that's right here. Oh, now I just dropped all them papers on the floor. Boy, well, that was my, that. And then these, oh, I still have a car. Oh, isn't that cute? That's got a one-cent stamp. It was sent to Burdette Harris. In 1912. Look how cute. She's adorable. Okay. Now I'm going to put her in here. Okay. There. And then let's see if I got anything else I want to put in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and then we want to put, look at this dude. I'm sending you this dude. You get this dude. You get this dude right there. Hatch your dude right there. Yep. That's the dude. And, of course, we have a door from Erin Morrison. She supplied us with doors. So we have a door. Put that in there. Now, in the door prize, you got to, and, and remember, you cannot do brain surgery with this mask. This mask is not good for doing brain surgery. So if you're going to do brain surgery, you have to use a regular mask. A real mask, not a pretend. Whenever you are ready, Leslie, we are ready for you to pull a number. Okay? So you put this in this envelope. So you're going to get a little mask for your face. And... I wonder if that will send out with one stamp. I think it will. Either overseas. And the sad thing is that if you're overseas or here, you can use the mask. Okay. Not putting a whole bunch in there because I have the mask in there. These are pretty, I have to say. We'll work on them some more. We'll put them right here for right this very second, though. And then... And then I get my, let me see, I got to get me, some, oh, there's my pen. And then I have, oh, I got to stand up to get my numbers. Okay. Mm. Heart surgery, yeah. If you're going to do heart surgery, they're cool. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding, y'all. Just kidding, y'all. You guys, knee surgery, hip replacement, no problem. They're good. No, seriously, I just want you to know they're only six, about 65%. And 65% is much better than no percent. So if anybody gives you a hard time, just give them a raspberry. Okay, here's the number right here. Right here. Okay, let's see what the number is. The number is, oh, you are kidding. Number two. Did anybody say one or two? <laughs> I think we're going to be, I think we're going to be um, elbow bump, yeah. No, I don't think anybody said one or two. We'll pull another number. Nobody said one or two? Yes, pull another number. Someone said one? Are you serious? Who said one? Aaron said one? Are you serious, Aaron? Aaron said one. 
So Aaron is the winner. And Aaron, I'll be darned. Isn't that amazing? Okay, Aaron. And now you carry this mask with you in your truck. And when you get out of your truck and you have to go in the store or something to get something to drink, wear your mask. Aaron needs it. She really does because she's going to be, I mean, she's a truck driver and she's got to get in and out of her truck. I heard somebody say that something about um, having a, a national day for truck drivers, like in October or something like that, because the truck drivers, they're not getting there. They have to work. They have to get this stuff from point A to point B. And if it wasn't for the truck drivers, we'd have no toilet paper. We'd have no toilet paper whatsoever. And so Aaron Morrison. And we'll get that mailed out to you. I'm kind of glad you got that because you need that mask. Okay, super. Okay, fat califragilistic expedalidocious. I am very happy for you. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna um, find one more song. Instead of reading, I'm I'm gonna find another little song that I wanna sing. And that's going to be my, my um, I wanna sing one of my dad's songs. One of my dad's that he sang. Oh, some of these, I don't know. I can't remember the tune. Oh, this one here. This used to be sang by uh, Merle Haggard. Merle, Merle Haggard, I think he wrote this. The warden led a prisoner down the hallway to his doom. I stood up to say goodbye like all the rest. And I heard him tell the warden just before he reached my cell. Let my guitar playing friend play my request. Let him sing me back home, the song I used to hear, make my old memories come alive, take me away and turn back the years, sing me back home. Before I die, I recall last Sunday morning, a choir from off the street came in to sing a few old gospel songs. And I heard him tell the singers, there's a song my Mama sang, could I hear it once more before you move along? Let him sing me back home the song I used to hear. Make my old memories come alive. Take me away and turn back the years. Sing me back home before I die. And with that, 
I bid you all farewell. May God watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on our next video. God bless. God bless. I love you, Dad. I love you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, Dad. Okay. And piled all this up here.